Printing artwork to a file enables your print service provider to send the file directly to an output device. In Corel Draw and Corel Photo Paint, the Print to PDF feature offers a wide range of advanced print settings. Features include imposition tools for arranging layouts, custom print profiles for specific print hardware, and precise management of color separations, halftones, and registration marks, ensuring your output is fully optimized for professional, high-quality print workflows. To print to a PDF file, click File Print. The General tab of the print window includes a list of installed printers and drivers, including Corel Print to PDF, which I'm selecting. Note that Print to File is now automatically selected, and there is a PDF tab. Many of the settings here are also available when using PDF Export or Publish to PDF. There is a difference between exporting and printing to PDF, and Print to PDF overcomes some of the limitations of exporting. Let's take a quick look at Publish to PDF and open the settings. The comprehensive set of options here include PDF presets and the Pre-Press tab where I can add a bleed limit, printer's marks, etc. But in this example, the resulting PDF will only enable printing of a single business card on a single sheet. A typical business card print job would likely involve large sheets of hundreds of cards with front and reverse designs, printed on a professional printer, and then cut out to size. This would require additional pre-press RIP software to generate the print output. This functionality is available when using Print to PDF, which means that a file can now go straight to the print service without any intermediate steps. One major benefit is working with color separations. While digital printing works well for many purposes, items like business cards are typically produced using the more cost-effective offset printing which uses separate plates for each color. This feature is not available in PDF export. Many more options are found in the Layout and Pre-Press tabs when compared with export options. Additional advanced output settings are available on the Print Preview window. In Imposition settings, I'll start by setting up a print job with 4x4 card rows on a larger sheet. I can also edit page placements, margins, guttering, finish, etc. This preview looks good, so I'll check the design preview to see how the printed sheet will look on both sides. Recall that printer's marks can be added when exporting to PDF, but they can't be seen until ready to publish. With Print to PDF, I can not only add printer's marks, but also get an advanced preview of how they will be printed. I can also add additional file information for the printer. So far, I'm printing in composite mode, but now I'll create color separations. There are now eight tabs instead of two, representing separate CMYK plates for front and back. Each plate contains slightly different content. For instance, this yellow plate shows the areas that will be printed in yellow, including parts of the black background. In CMYK printing, black is not printed with only black ink, Additional colors are often blended to create a richer, more vivid, and solid black. On the reverse side, the camera photo is also separated into its various color components. Once again, the image is predominantly black, but yellow, magenta, and cyan are added to create a rich, vibrant, and visually dynamic black. When settings are complete, all that's left to do is click Print, and I'll name and save the file. Let's compare the two PDFs. This is from Publish to PDF, or PDF Export. Printer marks and color marks are on both sheets, and cut marks show where to cut the sheet once printed. This PDF could go straight to a digital printer. Here is the Print to PDF output, with color separations and marks where the 4x4 cards will be cut, ready to be sent to a professional offset print service.